I'm Frank with Infinite Red, and I'm proud to introduce Ignite Flame, a slimmed down, much easier to maintain version of the world's most popular React Native boilerplate. It's a collection of all of Infinite Red's opinions on stack, patterns, and packages all in one place. We've reduced the complexity of the code base by a lot. Ignite 2.0 CLI was over 3,000 lines of code in 57 files. The Ignite Flame CLI is under 1,000 lines of code in 15 files. It also takes up about 25% less time to spin up a new app from scratch. Let's give it a try. We're gonna ignite a new project. We'll call it My Flame Project. And this is gonna kick off the ignite process. Now this will take a little while, so we're gonna use some magic here to speed things along and save us some time. We're gonna install CocoaPods for you. And now we have our completed Ignite project. Now let's see what we created. I'm gonna CD into the folder, and then we can run it on iOS with npx react native run iOS. We can see our bundler window has launched, which bundles our JavaScript similar to Webpack or Parcel on web. We can see our app is building, and there it is. We have our Ignited demo app. If we click on continue, we go to a second screen. We see that Ignite comes with navigation, TypeScript, Storybook all set up. In Flame, we added a nice feature where you can toggle Storybook right from the developer menu, so you don't have to go back and forth between the command line. From here, you can see all of your components in Storybook and any add-ons, and we can just toggle it back. And since Ignite Flame is made by Infinite Red, it's gonna come with our flagship debugger, Reactatron, pre-configured for your project. We can see an initial state of our root store here, and there's not much in it, but we can demo Reactatron and see some of its capabilities. Here's a debug message here, which is showing an object. We can keep drilling down in this. And at the top of the timeline, you can see an API response. So Reactatron will actually help you debug API responses and a whole lot more. So be sure to check it out. Now let's see what Ignite actually generated by looking at the code. If you look at our app, we can see we have a components folder with some pre-made components, a models folder, which actually stores our root store with MobX state tree, which is actually pre-configured for you. We have our navigator for our navigation, which comes set up. A couple of screens here. The welcome screen that we first saw when we launched our app. We have some services, our API and Reactatron configuration. A theme folder where we can set our palette, our colors, our typography, and even our fonts. The E2E folder contains detox tests, which are pre-configured with Ignite, and your first test is actually written for you. Storybook folder contains your storybook views, and of course the test folder is going to contain your jest and story shot tests. The index.js file, the entry point for our app, is a lot smaller and cleaner than it was in previous Ignite versions. And of course a package.json where you can see all of our dependencies for Ignite. Now let's take a look at Ignite in action and see how it can speed up your development process. If I type Ignite generate with the list flag, I can see a list of all of Ignite's pre-installed generators. I have component, model, navigator, and screen. So let's generate a component. I'm gonna type Ignite generate component, and I'm gonna give it a name, my new component. I'll run that, and if we watch the components folder, we'll see my new component has been generated with my new component file inside. And if we look, it's a pretty bare bones component. And Ignite also generated a storybook story for me of my component. Generating components is great, but Ignite can also generate screens as well. So I'll do that now. I'll type Ignite G, the shorthand for generate, screen, and give it a name, my new screen. And if you watch the screens folder after I run this, there's my new screen folder with my new screen file. Now that's pretty cool. Where Ignite really shines is in its ability to customize the templates that are generated. So let me show you how to do that now. If we go to the Ignite templates folder, we'll see that there's four folders for the options that we can generate. Component, model, navigator, and screen. Let's add a button to the screen template so that all new generated screens contain a button. So I'll add a touchable opacity with a little style. I'll give it some text. Maybe click me and we'll import touchable opacity from React Native. And now that I checked the designs, we're gonna want those buttons rounded. All right, let's see it in action. I'm gonna ignite generate a screen, call it new custom screen. And we can see that the button that we added in the template is now on the screen. You can modify any of the templates that come with Ignite, component, model, screen. If we want to modify all new generated components, we can add those changes to the component template file. This is one of the most powerful features of Ignite. Ignite will be much easier to maintain going forward, so we expect a lot of improvements to be headed your way. If you're interested in helping out with Ignite, join the Infinite Red community Slack at community.infinite.red and reach out in the Ignite channel. And be sure to follow Ignite on Twitter at IR underscore Ignite.